Um, first, just headed into the game, just what, what were the last 36 hours or so like and, and what kind of a challenge was it mentally, you know, preparing preparing for this game under the circumstances? Um, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, difficult circumstances, both sides, very unexpected. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you got to control what you can control, um, abide by the rules, hope that at the end of the day, you know, the NBA has both teams in, in their best interest and then kind of go from there. So, you know, we had a pretty like casual evening, to be honest, as a team last night, you know, playing pickleball, just having some dinner together, hanging out. Uh, and then, uh, you know, they kind of caught wind. I think that we were going to be playing early afternoon. So that was sort of what, what the mindset was. And, uh, you know, preparation sort of stayed the same that way. Looking ahead to tomorrow, um, from a from a team standpoint, is it big because it's the next one? Um, it, do you highlight it given the implications that it could have in terms of the Eastern Conference standings? Um, no, I don't think we'll like blow it out of proportion. Obviously, we know sort of the implications of the game in terms of standings, but there's still a lot of games left in the season, regardless of, of the outcome tomorrow. But, uh, you know, it's just another test, another opportunity to get better. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Joe, uh, obviously the, the schedule has changed, so now it's a back-to-back, -back, and it seems like there's uncertainty about who will be available tomorrow. Uh, how do you guys uh, negotiate stuff like that? And then what does a, a blowout of this magnitude uh, do for you? Um, yeah, I think, you know, regardless of who plays and who doesn't, you know, we hope to go out, compete, uh, play the right way, and improve and get better. Um, and then, uh, you know, tonight was, or this afternoon, um, you know, I thought we played particularly well. I think we started a lot better, um, which has been sort of a focal point for us here as of late, just because it seems like we've, we've been a little slow out of the gates uh, since the All-Star break, really. So for us to come out and kind of impose ourselves early on uh, was a good step for us. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Joe, in general, do you appreciate the professionalism of your ball club uh, being ready, playing hard, playing well, despite uh, another incident of social unrest? Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, this is our job. And, uh, you know, we, uh, like you said, you got to be professional. Um, and when you're asked to go out, lace them up and play and perform, um, that's what you got to do and you got to do it to the best of your ability and you know for us today to come in and uh, You know with everything that's going on mentally being able to lock in have that approach, you know, I think uh, You know it, it, it's it says a lot about the group and just the professionalism of the organization Tina Servacio with Fox 5 New York Hi, Joe. Within the theme of the back-to-back -back tomorrow not knowing who's gonna play and with guys being out today What's been the formula in the way that you guys have performed regardless of the lineup, regardless of the rotation, and with so many different guys on the floor each night? Um, I think, you know, it, it's just it's one of those things where there's just been so much uncertainty over the course of the season where, you know, guys know that when they, you know, they're going to have opportunity and it's a chance for you to come in and play and help out. And we also know that long term, though, too, you know, you might get yourself into a series in the playoffs where you're going to ask something of the 12, 13 guy on the roster. And we need everybody to, you know, have confidence in one another to be able to come in and play when their when their number is called. And, uh, you know, sort of the season up to this point has been, has been no different in that regard. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Joe, two quick ones for you. Um, first, obviously, D'Angelo spent quite some time here in Brooklyn before he ended up in Golden State and then in Minnesota. Just what's it like playing against him? And do you guys still have that friendly connection or is it new team, new rival? No, nah, I mean, D'Lo is still my boy at the end of the day. You know, me and him keep tabs all the time. I see him in the off season. And then, uh, you know, regardless of where he's playing, you know, he's still going to be my boy. And, uh, you know, we, we developed a special connection while he was in Brooklyn, Ed Davis as well. So it's always good to see those guys. Yeah, 